Kendra and Lambo here today and today's topic is going to be all about dogs. We're going to talk to you about how to detox your dog naturally. Our dogs are exposed to toxins just as much as we are. And dogs tend to also be over vaccinated. They're upkeeping medications like tick and flea prevention. They're given antibiotics for almost anything you go to the vet for. And we're recommended to feed them kibble, which is not the best diet for our dogs. So they are actually exposed to tons of toxins. Our dogs can be exposed to toxins that are both outdoor toxins and indoor toxins. Outdoor toxins include weed killers, chemicals in the grass, motor oil on the road, pesticides, herbicides, phthalates, and so much more. And indoor toxins can include air fresheners, laundry chemicals, cleaning products, drinking water, food additives, medicinal drugs, and more. The list of toxins seems to be never ending, so it is increasingly important for us to make sure that we're helping our dogs detox their bodies. Now, your dog's immune system works in amazing ways, just like our immune system does. It'll recognize detox and clear out toxins on its own. But sometimes, if there's an overload of toxins, then these get stored in the fat cells or in the liver. That's where we need to jump in to help our dogs detox naturally. When your dog is exposed to a toxin, then usually the immune system will ramp up and they might experience diarrhea, vomiting, or inflammation, and that's the body's way of trying to expel the toxin. But if there is a toxin overload, then you might notice that your dog is a little bit more tired or they are constantly getting a reoccurring infection. So there are four systems that we need to help support in our dog's bodies to make sure that they're efficiently detoxing. The first one is the liver. The liver is going to be the most complex detox organ. Its ability to detox is incredible. It can detox thousands of substances. The second is the GI tract. The GI tract is best at removing things in a solid waste. The third is going to be their skin. The skin is the largest organ and it's our largest detoxing organ as well. The fourth are the kidneys. So kidneys are best at removing water soluble toxins. So all of these four organs need to be working at optimal level to make sure that your dog is naturally detoxing all of these toxins that it comes into contact with. So now let's talk about six ways that you can help your dog naturally detox. The first one is going to be support your dog's liver. And to do this, we need to upgrade their food and treats. So looking at the pet food industry, this is highly unregulated. And that means that in pet food or dog food and treats, there can be found a lot of chemicals, artificial ingredients, artificial colors. First and foremost, your companion's food should be compromised of good quality, highly digestible meats and vegetables. The diet should be free of any artificial preservatives, colorings, and flavors. Cheap fillers such as soy, corn, sugar, salt, and grain byproducts should be removed. These ingredients do not serve positive roles in canine nutrition. What we do want to feed our dog is a fresh whole food diet full of real food that you know what the ingredients are. It should be a biologically appropriate diet and that's the first step in supporting their liver. Adding organic vegetables and fruits like blueberries, broccoli, and asparagus that are high in antioxidants and phytonutrients are essential for helping the detoxification system. There's also something called sulforaphane which is found in cruciferous vegetables like asparagus, kale, broccoli, and this is going to be really beneficial in supporting your dog's liver. Providing your dog with a good clean diet and some great supplements to support that diet is going to go a long way for optimal liver function and detoxification. So if your dog is on a commercial diet, that's okay. You might want to think about slowly getting them onto a more wholesome diet or choosing better foods that you actually know the ingredients of and can understand the ingredients and know the process of what the food goes through before it goes into your dog's mouth. 
going to link in the description below our blog that describes safe and toxic foods for your dog. I'm also going to include the Dr. Dubias recipe maker, which is something that we reference all of the time. And in there, you also will have a list of foods and meats and organs that your dog is able to eat safely and which ones should be fed in moderation. But don't worry, there's also tons of holistic vets and pet nutritionists out there that are ready and willing to help you create a meal plan for your dog that's going to be best for their health. Number two is supporting your dog's gastrointestinal tract or the GI tract. So this is important because most toxins, once processed through the liver, they will be eliminated through the GI tract. Your dog's gut is populated with trillions of bacteria that make up his microbiome. And the microbiome helps metabolize toxins from unhealthy gut bacteria. Many pets will also experience anxiety and this can be directly linked to the health of their GI tract. Did you know that about 70% of your dog's immune system is in their GI tract? So you can support your dog's GI tract by giving them prebiotics, probiotics, digestive enzymes, and a proper healthy diet that's biologically correct for them. And there are tons of prebiotics and probiotics for dogs. I'll show you the ones that we're using right now. And we consulted our vet on which probiotics we should be giving for Lambo. So make sure to consult your vet or your holistic vet on which ones and which brand are going to be the best one specific to your dog. So these are the ones that I give to Lambo and I just pop one of these out and I just sprinkle it into his food during his evening meal. But your vet is going to tell you when is going to be the best time to give probiotics to your dog. So make sure that your gut is healthy. Number three is going to be supporting your dog's skin. So their skin is their largest detox organ. And when they're going outside, for example, they're exposed to environmental toxins. Whether you're going for a walk or to the park or in the backyard, there might be some kind of fumes out there or a spill on the road or the sidewalk, construction nearby, or something's been sprayed on the grass in the park and things like that. So the first thing you wanna do is that when they come home from a walk, you wanna use some doggy wipes to help wipe them down and you wanna wipe down their fur and their paws. You could also use a wet washcloth. Wiping down after walks can reduce the number of toxins that stay on their fur that will be then groomed off by them by licking their fur or otherwise absorbed by their paw pads. The next thing is you wanna regularly bathe your dog and I have a lot of grooming videos on this topic and we like to give Lambo a bath every two weeks and you wanna be mindful of using a really natural and gentle shampoo that has really great ingredients. So we like to use this green tea aloe vera green power gentle shampoo and bonus. And the third thing you'll wanna to do to support their skin is giving them a nice good brushing every couple of days just to remove any dead skin cells or loose fur and things like that. Number four, you want to support your dog's kidneys. And by doing this, we need to upgrade their water. So did you actually know that your dog's kidneys are filtering out toxins up to 70 times a day? So the water that they're drinking is going to be really important. If they're just drinking bottled or tap water, that's filled with chemicals, it's not going to help support their kidneys. By drinking unfiltered water that has chlorine, fluoride, and potentially other harmful chemicals, and even heavy metals, these toxins can damage the kidney's filtration system and can affect your dog's good bacteria in their gut as well. So you're gonna to wanna to get maybe some type of filtration system, and there's tons of them out there, and I'm going to link a few in the description below but these filtration systems are going to help eliminate these chemicals that can be found in water, and therefore you can support your dog's kidneys by providing them with fresh, clean, filtered water. So the type of water does make a difference, and if you can offer them something even more advanced like reverse osmosis or Cajun water, then that would be awesome too. Make sure that when you're choosing a water filter that you really do your research because not every water filter is made equal and not all of them are going to filter out all of these chemicals. Some of them only filter out certain ones. 
Another thing that you can also offer your dog that's going to be hydrating and really great for their system and has other benefits is bone broth. Number five is try herbs. Now I've talked about herbs before or herbs and they are really great because they help support the body's natural detoxification process. Herbs that strengthen liver functions such as dandelion root and nettle leaf are great. Turmeric, which helps improve digestion and the body's ability to remove toxins from the blood. And parsley. Parsley is a great herb. I would even say that it's the king of herbs to use because it has a gentle diuretic property, but it also helps to keep the kidneys operating smoothly. You can sprinkle fresh or dried parsley on your dog's food, or you can even make a parsley tea. To make a parsley tea, you just want to mince a heaping tablespoon of fresh parsley, boil eight ounces of purified water, pour it over the parsley in a glass bowl, and let it steep for 20 minutes and cool. You can strain the parsley out and then offer this warm parsley tea to your dog. And last but not least, number six is going to be take a look at your dog's environment currently and remove any toxins that you can. So things like lawn chemicals or household cleaners, secondhand cigarette smoke, mold, mildew, all of these kinds of things. If you notice that there is something that is toxic in your dog's environment and you're able to remove it, then do so. Small changes continued over a longer period of time is going to have tremendous benefits for your dog. We can't control everything, but there are a few things that we can do that's going to help and support our dogs so that they can live longer, healthier lives and with fewer vet visits. So with that, I hope that this video was helpful. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.